The first part of the First Amendment says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. But many of the cases that come to the Supreme Court that people know about don't involve Congress's actions at all. They involve the actions of state or local governments. Why is that? That brings up uh, what is technically called incorporation. Simply put, uh, since the early part of the 20th century, and particularly in, from the second half of the 20th century on, uh, more and more of the provisions of the Bill of Rights uh, have been incorporated by the Due Process Clause, the 14th Amendment, and applied to state and local governments. So the, just the First Amendment and most of the Bill of, and the Bill of Rights were enacted in the late 18th century, late 1700s, and the, the 14th Amendment was enacted in 1868. Correct. And uh, the Supreme Court in the Barron case in the first half of the, tw of the uh, 19th century held that the Bill of Rights as such does not apply to the states. So that was before the 14th that Amendment? That was before the 14th Amendment, and the 14th Amendment gradually changed all of that through the process of incorporation. Now the First Amendment, all of it, not just the religion clauses, but the speech and press clauses. Now the Second Amendment, the most recent example of incorporation. Uh, the Fourth Amendment, most of the Fifth, the Sixth, and the Eighth. These are all uh, incorporated and applied to the states. Through the Due Process Clause. Through the Due Process Clause. And who does, who makes these decisions? <laughs> You can guess who makes these decisions, the United States Supreme Court. Sometimes there have been uh, debates about how you choose which particular provision of the Bill of Rights to incorporate. Uh, there were, in the earlier days, uh, uh, there was a notion of what's basic to the concept of ordered liberty. More recently, we're talking about what is fundamental to an American system or scheme of justice. And that's pretty much where we are right now. Okay. Thank you very much, Shell. You're very welcome.